from a guy who is already having this branded success to continuing to try and be the best athlete in your sport? I, I have always just wanted to improve my skills. So that's the thread that's carried me through, that's kept me relevant the whole time, was I wanted to keep getting better. And I didn't care how I fared in the competitions. I mean, I was happy if I was doing well, but at the same time, I wanted to, I wanted the next challenge. I wanted to learn something new. Even after I won a big event, the next day I was at the ramp trying to figure out new tricks. And I and I think that that constant sort of not disappointment, but but desire to prove that I could do more is what has kept me going. Did you did you have anything set up at your house to practice like when you were growing up? Not, like in the not backyard when I was growing or? up. No, I, I grew up skating. We used to be Oasis Skate Park. It was right under the uh, 163. Right and. Then eventually skated Del Mar Skate Ranch. When that closed um, in 90, let's see, in 1989, I moved to Fallbrook because I could afford land there. Oh, to yeah, build my a lot of ramp. land. That's when I finally got Okay, my so own then ramp. you did your thing. And yeah. the reason I ask is because I'm living in Ocean Beach, cross the house across from me, someone moves in. I'm thinking that it's MTV and they're doing some crazy, because crazy stuff is going on. There are people jumping off the balcony with things strapped to their feet onto a trampoline. And I'm like, what is happening? And then my neighbor decides he's going to pogo stick his way across the street to introduce himself. And it was oh, Andy McDonald. Andy McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was trampoline and pogo stick. Yeah. And I, I, was, I, guess I was like little Mrs. Kravitz. I'm like, what is going on over there? Yeah. What is happening? But super nice. And, and I just thought that was so crazy. Because when you do a sport like that, you know, it's like you need your space and you need unique things to help yeah, you it's prepare. Yeah, to be living in a city, especially, well, at the time when we couldn't really afford space. That's why I had to move east to Fallbrook Tech to find a place that I could, right. I could afford to, to build a ramp. Um, nowadays, it's so prolific that there are skate parks. I mean, there, there are a dozen right here in San Diego.